Hi, my name is Chris Rexroad, and I'm the Executive Minister here at Christ Hope. And I just thank you so much for not only showing that you want to serve, but joining this specific area uh, for to teach the elementary age kids, uh, grades K through five is what this class is for currently. As we grow, we may split up into two separate groups, but for right now, that's what this group is called. And the room is called Kids Hope, and that's really what we're doing. We're trying to offer hope and build a foundation for our kids as they grow up into middle school, high school, and then adult age. We're always building that foundation. And in this class, we use a curriculum called Superbook. And Superbook works in three week intervals. Um, so that's how we usually schedule our teachers. Now there's the occasional, I have a vacation or I'm sick or something like that coming up. And as long as we work ahead, we're able to schedule people and not miss a beat. So you may teach one um, episode out of three to cover somebody else and vice versa. But generally we try to keep teachers in three week intervals. So uh, week one is the longer expanded video that comes from Superbook on whatever topic we're covering that week. And then the following two weeks has a recap video. And each week has um, different supplemental videos to go along with it as far as like a Bible background and Superverse um, for each week and um, signposts that help uh, the children see how things constantly point to Jesus. And you'll see all that stuff in your one-on-one um, -on -one training that I'll have with you as you uh, choose to become a Kids Hope teacher. Now, Kids Hope takes place from 10 to 11 a.m. We ask all teachers to be there by 9.45 and to tie in with the 9 a.m. Kids Hope leader that's just been overseeing kids that are in there while their parents are at Sunday school class. This gives you an opportunity to prep for the class, to tie in with them, and any parents that are coming in, especially new parents, um, new people tend to show up to the church 15 to 20 minutes early so they can get their bearings of the church. It's really important to have our teachers in there at 945 so that if you are a new parent and you're dropping off your child to a specific age area, if there's no teacher in the room, that kind of has a little bit of a negative feel or makes them apprehensive and we don't want that. So please be in the classroom by 945 and uh, time with the teacher and go ahead and begin to prep things. And you, every week you'll have things laid out in the TV. We have a flash drive that you'll operate from and that'll be a part of your one-on-one -on -one training as well. And you'll be able to select the week of the subject that you're in and all the material will be there for you. You'll also have access to the Superbook website for teachers so that you can go in there and preview the material before. You can use any of the activities they have in there. They supply a lot of different options and we allow our teachers to be creative in what they want to do. Some teachers like to play games with the students. Some teachers like to do arts and crafts. And during the nice, uh, nice times of the weather around the church, um, late spring, summer, and early fall, we do have the playground outside that you can take the kids to as well. But the most important thing is just uh, the children's safety. We do background checks on every person in the building that works with minors, every minister, every elder. Um, we, we cover all of our bases there. And then just to give them a safe, fun environment to where we're building that foundation so that as they grow in Christ and in their age, they have that really good foundation so that when they get to adulthood, that their faith sticks with them. Because at a certain point, they're going to transition from this being mom and dad's faith to their faith. And that's what we're helping in right now. So I really appreciate you desiring to, to help uh, teach our elementary age kids, have fun with them, find ways to connect the message to who they are, and feel free to check in with me to ask questions. Um, I would be happy to help fill in ideas, talk with other teachers and see what's working. But just the biggest thing is the children's safety, their growth in Christ, and just providing an environment um, where their parents feel that their kids are being poured into. And then just make sure that the kids are there in the room, whatever you choose to do. If you're going out to the playground or something, just make sure they're back in the room. 
by the end of service, which is typically right on 11 o'clock. That way when the parents come back, they see where their kids are. And if there's anything along the way where the kids need a bathroom break or something, if you're the only teacher in the room, I just ask that you take the whole group together, let them all go to their specific bathroom based off their gender and uh, just wait outside. And if it, your class gets to a point of size or um, energy levels and you need an assistant, please reach out and let me know and I can start scheduling an assistant for you. The biggest thing with all this is children's safety, building their foundation. I want to be there to support the teachers and what that they what they need in order to do what they do well um, and be enjoyable and anything else that we can help out with. So please reach out to me. I'm going to put my email right down here at the bottom. You catch me at church. If you got my cell phone number, call me. I'm, I'm here to help you. But once again, thank you so much for your willingness to serve our kids for the kingdom.